I'm working on McCall 7786 and I'm making this view here, view C. I cut out a size six. This pattern is rated as easy and some of the features, it has pockets, it has some gathering here in this leg area right in here and then i don't know if you can tell but there are splits on the side and they're pretty wide open so i decided i wanted to do some color blocking i'm using rayon fabric and i'm going to do the top of the pants in black and then i'm going to do the bottom of the pants in white the pattern calls for one inch wide elastic and that goes in the waistband area but it only goes in the back so the front of the pants just have a plain front with no elastic. So this is where I am so far. I have the top of the pants put together with the pockets in and everything. And this is the whole piece of the front. And then this is the white rayon fabric that I'm going to attach to the bottom of the leg. And I purchased the white rayon from Joanne Fabrics and the black rayon from LA Bench Fabrics. I attached the front waistband to the front of the pants and it wasn't fitting properly so I went back to the directions. This is a picture from step number 12 and I realized what I did wrong. I matched up this edge here with this edge over here and then I stitched. What I should have done was to make sure that this front seam line here was matching with this seam line here just as they have it here in the picture and then stitch down. So I had to go back and unpick the seam that I did and I need to unpick both side seams and then when I'm pinning them together I just need to make sure that this front seam line and this back seam line are nice and even and aligned. Then I will put it together and stitch down that way. I reattached the waistband and so now what I'm going to do is just fold in the sides and then I will fold the waistband over like this, pin it down, I already put some of the pins in, pin it down and secure it so you can stitch in a ditch or then slip stitch it. Step 20 says to end this stitch here at the upper seam line. Your seam line begins 5 eighths of an inch away. So start 5 eighths of an inch away and then stitch all the way down. And this will be left open up here at the top. Step number 24 is where you put in your gathering stitches. Here's the opening that's left at the top of the lower front and the lower back. And what you will do is put in some gathering stitches. And by having these openings here, it will make it much easier to get your basting stitches in. So you're going to put basting stitches in from here all the way down and on this side all the way down and then do the same on the other leg. It's a whole new day. I'm just now walking into my sewing room and I am in the middle of making dinner. I'm making meatloaf and mashed potatoes for my husband and this is where I am on the shorts the top they're not shorts they're pants this is the top of the pants with the waistband in there so i'm happy with the way that that turned out now that i fixed it yesterday after i worked on the lower part of the pants i got it ready to put in the gathering stitches and then i took a break so i've been to the grocery store i've started dinner i've run a couple of errands and now I'm ready to go ahead and start sewing. I just want to make sure I have enough thread in my bobbin. Yeah, I think that's plenty to get these basting stitches in. But yeah, we're about to get started to add the gathering stitches to the lower edge of this. Once I do that and attach the white pieces to the black pieces, then I should be pretty much done. I just have to try it on, hem it, and then that'll be it. I vacuumed my sewing room yesterday, so I put up my ironing board. I'm turning my iron on and getting situated. My scissors. Okay. Turning my machine on. I'm getting ready. Let me see. Okay. I should be good to go. So I'm going to work on one section at a time. Right now I'm working on this section and then I'll do this section. So this rayon fabric is very easy to 
gathers the stitches just kind of slide and glide nicely as I'm pulling on them and then I want to make sure that the front and the back match the front and the back of the lower half because this is the back and this is the front so they're not the same pieces so I have to make sure that they match the top so that they'll come out okay so this is how it's looking now that everything is gathered up so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this on now I'm working on the other leg right now so on one side of the upper portion you'll have a seam and a triangle and the lower portion you also have a side that has a seam so the seam here on the lower half needs to match up with the seam that's on the upper portion so I'll pin those together and this is the area where you have your split so all that is going to be pinned in together and then on the opposite side you'll have the finished edge here and that is going to match up to this little corner right here so once everything is all gathered then that is how it will be pinned inside of the pants leg I cut off two and a half inches from the pattern pieces in the hem area and then I also hemmed it an inch and a quarter and these are the leftover pieces of rayon fabric and I think I want to make a top but here are the pants and I'm all done so I think I've decided on the top that I want to make and it is Simplicity 9550. I made this top before and I think it will look really nice with the pants. Hopefully it will. So I think I want to make the top white and then I want to add some black around the sleeves. I have lengthened the sleeve by about four and a half inches but my plan is to cut down this line here and I want to use this portion of the sleeve to be all white fabric and then this portion I'm going to cut this off and use this as the pattern piece for black fabric. I actually forgot to add seam allowance to the end of the sleeve so that once this is sewn on it won't be shorter than I want it to be so I'm gonna just make a note here to add seam allowance then when I'm cutting the fabric out I'm just gonna extend this about a half inch and then draw a line <laughs> I put a thread loop in the back with a button and for this sleeve extension I'm just going to sew these sides down and then open this up and attach it to the sleeve like I did here. So this is one done and then I'm going to work on the other one. So after I finished the top I tried it on and the only change that I made was to add some elastic just to kind of bring in some of the volume there. out my fabric and my patterns I use these little rocks as weights I just opened something that I purchased from Amazon that was on my wish list for a while these are some pattern weights I cannot wait to start using them they're nice and heavy they're cast iron I believe they are approximately three pounds a piece and they came two in a box yay so if you're interested in checking these out, I will put a link in the description below.